if you wouldn't mind just uh, some opening thoughts on tonight's game. Yeah, I mean, it was a, uh, an unbelievable opportunity to come into a, a tradition program and have an opportunity to compete. I'm really proud of the way we fought. Obviously, we're going to look at th some things and you know, evaluate what we did. We said we would be tested. We knew we would be challenged and tested. And you know, I think our red zone execution, you know, two turnovers in the red zone in the first quarter. You know, we got opportunities right there to put some points on the board and really, you know, get their heel, get them on their heels a little bit and create some adversity for them. We just didn't do that. And, uh, you know, there's a little bit of coaching in that. And uh, certainly the execution down there wasn't good enough. But, uh, you know, I felt the game, you know, had its waves of, of, of different opportunities for us. And, you know, there was times the defense played really well. There's certainly some times that, you know, there's some, there's some holes that, that, that got beat. You know, offensively, same thing. You know, but any time we got off schedule, it was a little bit tough. But, um, you know, I think there's a ton to learn from. And it was a great opportunity. And, and coming up here and get tested and got another one next week. Um, you, you talked about the, you know, two red zone, you know, went in, didn't get anything out of it. Noticed the team didn't really keep it in its head after that. They still fought. What, talk a little bit about the team's resiliency through the adversity. Yeah, certainly. You know, and we talk about that. You, know, you got to ride the emotions of the game. You got to ride the wave. And there's going to be highs. There's going to be lows. And um, you know, I, I felt that was good. You know, we didn't get down. Um, we got to execute at a higher level down there, especially when you're inside the five yard line. But you know, certainly the way we're trying to build this thing is just you know these guys, you know, being you know persevering through it and overcoming adversity. And it's how you're going to respond on the next thing. And I felt like I saw that in a lot of places. I felt like I saw that in our secondary. You know, we compete and then they come back and answer pretty good. And I think there's certainly a lot of phases in our game that we saw that. So you know, there, there's going to be a lot to look at that we can learn from, a lot to you know to to build on, and then certainly a lot to learn from. Coach, this begins a really tough three-game stretch for y'all at a conference. Talk to me about how y'all can clear the mechanism, to borrow a phrase, and to get back next week against uh, Mississippi. Yeah, I mean, just as, as a program, we always just talk about resetting. Obviously, the sun's going to come up tomorrow, and we're going to evaluate coaches and, and how we coach the game and players, how they grade it out. And it's going to be all about resetting. You know, our reset for this game is going to be Saturday. You know, we're going to have an opportunity to watch some film, and then obviously we've got to go on the road again up to another Gulf South opponent up in Mississippi College, which is going to be a really tough team. Um, but certainly, you know, we, we just want to build each and every week, and we, we just want to reset. And, and it's all about the process of development and growth. And, and, and guys, you're going to have an opportunity to learn a lot in this week. Now, obviously, uh, the performance from your defense was was – here and there's some big plays, but there was a lot of play, uh, a lot of places where your defense really bowed up. Talk to me about forcing five field goals that were close. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things we talk about. You know, we don't want to kick field goals, and we force them to kick field goals. So we've got a, you know, we've got certainly a goal in the red zone. They did a really good job, and then they're tough stopping the run. And you know, every once in a while, uh, you know, a play could just pop in there. But uh, they were tough tonight. Um, you know, we probably needed one or two more stops, probably to keep it close. Um, but certainly, I think the offense could have helped with that a little bit as well. But uh, you know, seriously, a lot to look at defensively, a lot to build on. And some guys really got challenged today because they have dynamic players. They've got three 1,000-yard rushers. Their quarterback, you know, is a Division II Player of the Year type candidate and can throw the football over the field. And you know, certainly, uh, you know, we, we got challenged tonight. Have you ever seen that many offensive linemen that far downfield on a mid-screen? <laughs> I love it, man. We told them all week long our, our, our wide out was going to hit his head on the goalpost if we execute that thing right. So we called it at the right time. Those kids executed. I feel a really good job at the players. I'm good. Thanks, guys.